Hello everyone, it's Cheshire Grin and I'm here with another video. I know it's been a long time, maybe about a month or so for um a video like this. Yeah, um about that. Been a little um busy. I should say, but um, I mean, it's it's the end of summer, it's the end of you know vacation and stuff, right? So what I've been kind of busy trying to get everything organized and stuff for this upcoming school year, considering I'm no longer in high school. Yay! Adult life, here we come, right? No. Um, for those of you that are adults, which I'm pretty sure none of you are, but hey. Anyways, so today I have a new video for you, and it's another drawing your. There would be lucky requester slash winner is Wolf Girl 101 once again because. <laughs> um, her friend, yeah, a friend of hers wanted to draw, or wanted me to draw her OC, so that's what I did, which I don't mind. So, what I have here is her, is sketching obviously, but what I have here is her friend's OC name Jayza J A Y Z H A. It's a dude, if you can't tell. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, let's get into a little bit about Jayza. Jayza is 17 and he enjoys art and music when he was in high school though he was an outcast and had only one friend named Preston until his senior year he gets more he is a very he's a very secluded person and he doesn't like to show his weaknesses Later on, he falls in love with his friend, not knowing that he's a demon hunter though. Jay told him he was demon himself. Yeah. Not knowing he was a demon hunter, Jay told him he was... Oh, um, what? Am I reading this right? Not knowing Preston was a demon hunter, Jay told him he was a demon. So that left Preston questioning his ideals and motives. Well, I, that's what I think would go on. You know, because he has to contemplate what's happening, sort of thing. Um, but having a lot of depression, Jay went to college and once out, he started a band with some new friends. They became Crown of Thrones, a rock rap band like Linkin Park or Hollywood Undead. That, those are some really good bands, by the way. So, Jay here is a, what is it, very, his design is very grunge looking. If you don't know what that is, for you younger children, grunge is basically a hot topic. <laughs> um, yeah, so you know like all those jokes Afmal makes with Zane about saying, oh you need to go to the... Hot, we need to go shopping for you at Hot Topic or something like that because they don't have anything for Zane at other stores, I should say. And back then, Hot Topic was like this very... What is it? What is it? In the 90s, they had like punk uh, fashion, right? But like in early 2000, it turned into a very, very 
grunge appearance. So that's like with the baggy pants, with all the pockets, uh, crop tops for the girls, and um, basically the image of Lincoln Park before now, I should say. I don't know. Just look up some of their old songs and you'll see what I'm talking about. And um, yeah, so basically he was he's very grunge looking and because since he's his journey since Jesus journey is started from high school, I decided to draw him in the school uniform that Wolf Girl 101 had sent in. Um I felt like for this one though I decided to go against the natural art style that I have and go with the bold and very thick lines of the line art. So that's what you're seeing here. Um, and later on, you'll see, see that there's this one's not in color. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to keep this as aesthetically pleasing as the character's background is. So. I went with bolder, thicker lines, and wa I originally wanted him to be in like an action pose, but decided against it because at the time when I was doing this, I was annoyed with something that I won't go into. So yeah, this was like a very good venting my frustrations and enjoying the badassery of this character. Excuse my language. Um. So yeah, he's very grungy looking, and I put him in his school attack, the school outfit kind of thing, bad boy look. from what um, Wolf Girl's friend sent, their f yeah, sent. So I kept it very close to the original drawing, and I gave him what her friend wanted. It was a undercut. As you can see, with very, very beautiful hair, I should say. This is actually the first time I've actually done a hairstyle like this because I've, I've been deciding myself if I want a character with an undercut like this. So it was good practice, and now I know where the lines are going to be. So, he, <laughs> he, yeah. Um,. Also, he kind of like while I was doing this, he kind of reminded me of uh, Ian uh, from Aphmau's series. Before y'all get all booty hurt, um, I just that wasn't in intentional at all. That's literally what his design was that they sent. So yeah. Also, I did this very late at night, so yeah, this is very, um, so yeah, also they wanted a lot of, uh, piercings, well, that's what originally was in the drawing, like I said, or, and like I, we keep repeating, um, yeah, so he has two nose piercings, one up between his, um, like on the bridge of his nose or something. It's like really close to his eye, as you can see. And then there's one nose piercing by his ear here, and then two on his, uh, his ear on his nose, and two on his ear. And then there's one on his eyebrow, which you can't really tell when I color it, but it's there. And yeah, but his hair in the original drawing that they sent, his hair was covering his right eye, I believe, and. I wanted to sh be able to show both eyes because what I was going for was a very glowy, colorful effect. And yeah, that's what I was doing. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Also, I gave him pockets. Or was it pockets? Or is it like... Um... Where is it? I don't think they're pockets. They're like little bags that you put on the belt, like you slide on the belt and then you just like put stuff in it. Yeah, I gave him that. Cause I mean, hey, 
they, he didn't really have a design set yet. They just drew something up. It's like, here, can you draw this for me? It's my OC. Okay. So, like, yeah. I picture him with, like, if I had done a full body for this one, though, I would have gave him the pockets, school t-shirt, and tie with baggy pants. Because you can never have enough. Uh, you, you can never have enough pockets and you can also have nice and comfortable jeans <laughs> right so yeah that's what I was thinking I guess I gave him like the hunter look instead Boy, uh -huh. I didn't pay attention so this is what we came up with <laughs> I don't know what those pockets are gonna be used for. It just I thought it would be cool to actually have that in a design and that's what I did since his lower body wasn't designed out yet. So that's what we got. Um As for the coloring though, I was originally going to do normal coloring, like you know, with the skin and everything, but and went against it, like I said, very grunge looking. And that was what I was going for. Very dark and mysterious kind of thing, right? But, um... Yeah. So I decided to do... Monochromatic. Sort of. And the only thing you would see is blue. Like, his eyes would be blue, that part of his hair would be blue, and parts of his uniform. So, like, the tie and the cuffs. That's what I'm looking for. Yes, that's what I did. Yeah. So, a little touch up here and there, and then we'll get on to the coloring, and the rest of the video is yours. So enjoy the music, enjoy the drawing, and I'll see who's the next lucky winner, requester, person. Oh yeah, oh, real quick before I, I say goodbye, um, we're going back to school, let's face it. Which means we got a bunch of responsibilities as students to go and do our work and stuff. Mm -hmm. Except for me, I actually have to do career stuff. So, because I'm in college and college can be unpredictable, I might, may or may not be posting videos for maybe the next two months. I have to see how everything's gonna go. But, if I have free time and I post a video, and we shall do it. It shall be there. So yeah, okay. I'll see you guys in the next video whenever that'll be. And until then, enjoy the music. Bye now.
Everybody is around me, but I feel so lonely now I need a little helping hand, but no one's reaching out A shadow, there's someone I see a bit of light ahead Then I realize there's no one It's all just inside my head I'm calling, but nothing What am I supposed to do now? Fell down so deep I couldn't climb out of this hole It's crazy, believe me But I thought I would never change A shadow, there's someone I see a bit of light ahead Then I realize there's no one It's all just my head
You can meet me on the other side We're impatient like young gods Feel the shifts in the air with me And the light is what you can't see Keep on dreaming against all No